Our planet is in a great danger and in every day it is getting closer and closer. In these difficult times, the entire world seems to be only concerned about the number of people who are infected and recovered by coronavirus. Entire countries are quarantined. The economy is on the verge of collapse. But there is a new problem. While humanity is fighting the virus, it turned out that an asteroid is also approaching Earth. And this asteroid might be potentially dangerous. NASA warns that a cosmic body, several kilometers in diameter, will soon strike the Earth. It is said to pass the Earth on April 2020, at which point it will be 3.9 million miles from our planet. That might sound far away, but why has NASA classified this asteroid as potentially hazardous? NASA has classified the asteroid 1998 OR2 as potentially hazardous, not because it puts the Earth in danger, but because it fulfills certain criteria in the agency's classification scheme. According to NASA, an asteroid is classified as potentially hazardous if its orbit ever intersects Earth's orbit at a distance less than 4.6 million miles or 0.05 astronomical units. One astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the Sun. So what will happen if this asteroid hit our planet? An object called 1998 OR2. This object has a diameter of 1,800 to 4,100 meters, which means that asteroid that spans more than a kilometer in a diameter cannot be compared to any human-made weapon. The asteroid is quite large and it will move at a speed of about 32,186 km per hour when it approaches Earth. It is not clear what this celestial body is made of and how old it is, but one thing is certain, the asteroid is classified as potentially dangerous. It really can cause catastrophic damage to the planet. The impact of this asteroid would kill millions of people. This impact will stir the dangerous processes inside the planet too, which means that we should expect natural disasters as well, like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis as well. As a result, the climate will also change, and most likely, for many, many centuries, life on Earth would be impossible, and surviving people may not be able to repopulate the planet. And after millions of years, another species will become the dominant ones on the earth. If it were to hit the earth, it might not destroy all life on earth, but the resulting impact would be 10 times worse than the damage from Hiroshima bomb. If it were to hit the land, the asteroid would be throw up enough dust and debris to block out the sun. If the sun is blocked, no sunlight can reach the earth, and without sunlight, the temperature will drop significantly and Earth will move into an ice age. If it were to hit the water, it would result in enormous tidal waves, hundreds of feet high, capable of submerging entire coastal cities. Smaller asteroids called comets or meteoroids breach Earth's defenses fairly often. However, large objects that pose a threat to life are rare. A historical study of asteroid strikes shows that a kilometer wide asteroid hits the planet every 500,000 years on average. But asteroids bigger than 5 km only come around every 20 million years. The KT extinction, which wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago, is believed to be the result of an asteroid at least 10 kilometers wide, hitting the Yucatan Peninsula. So what is the solution to stop the asteroids from approaching the Earth? In order to track the threat posed by an asteroid, NASA and the European Space Agency are continuously monitoring space for all approaching bodies. They are also working on potential solutions to either destroy or reroute an asteroid if one is heading directly to the Earth. A robotic spacecraft will send a heavy object and smash it into the asteroid. The asteroid will be hopefully pushed off the trajectory and miss the Earth. 